Report in. Okay, do you happen to know this kanji right here? Uh, something in a hurry. It does Koite? mean to be in hurry. Good guess. Isoide. So, E plus so. Isoide. Isoi. Right. Um, can you read this little like, phrase right isoide. here? Poketo kara jo my bag bagari close badari ya buri ya buri jo my ya buri ni skau kari hari hari um hari kin gane oh hari gane Harigane o tori daste. Hi. Feel free to translate it as tori dasta. Yep. Tori dasta. Hi. So from the pocket, uh, use a um for Look the purpose of in. breaking locks. Yes. That uh, tori dasu. it's a tori dasu to take out. So I take out a, a harigane. Wire yep. That is used for that what? Use for use for breaking locks. Perfect. From the pocket. Yep. And do you know what this kanji is? This kanji is kagi. Perfect. Oh, all right. Time this already. Um, do you know how this guy's read? Isoi. Isoi de. Isoi de. So let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Isoide Hari Ganeo Tori Dashi Doa no Chomae Jaburi ni Tori Kakata. Right. So I didn't tell you what Tori Kakata meant, but I'm, I'll see if you can guess by context what it means. Right. So the first, uh, let's see here. So for the purpose of breaking locks of the door. I tori dashita. I take out a uh, wire and osoide is quickly. Yeah. I quickly take out for the purpose of breaking locks. Well, purpose of, of breaking locks isn't here. Julie just says, I take out the harigane quickly and then I tori kakaru um, doa no joma yaburini. I tori is to take kakate is to put on. Mm -hmm. So to take and put on. So to, in this context, um, it means to begin. Specifically to begin. for joma yaburi. To begin joma yaburi. All right. So I take out the wire and I begin to open the locks. Yep. Which locks? The doors. Yes. Perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Hi, so no doa ni chikazuki. It's decorated. It is like decorated. It's a long word. It's like Ka three syllables. <laughs> Two. Kazari. Kazari. Kazari no suita. Kagi hana o. Nozoki komu. Hi. Kagiana. Nozoki, noz, nozoki komu is to look into, to peek into. Yes. To peek into the door that was decorated. Uh, uh, so what was no decorated? Ni, the uh, keyhole. Hi. Just so do you know, whenever you see these weird little triangles on the side, this is just a little hint saying that we've already read this line in the past, and this is here for either. We're going to see this vocabulary again soon, or there's some kind of grammar point. So here, a lot of this vocabulary is going to show up in our target sentence. So that's why that weird triangle that you'll sometimes see on these pages. Um, sometimes I'll specifically bold a word or a section because I feel like you don't need to read the whole thing to do a refresher. But you see, there's no Hi. triangle here. So this is an actual page. This one has a triangle. So this is a previous page you've already read. So just as like a contextual Hi. note. So yeah, he peeks into the keyhole that is decorated. What did he do before that? 
before that he approaches the door. Perfect. And can you read this for me? Uh, kota. Hi. So kota is both a verb and also like a noun thing, which is really weird. So you will see kota as a noun and you could also see it as a verb. So very weird in that case. Um, in this case, it's actually being used as a noun. Kota means elaborate or intricate. In intricate. So this is talking about like um like a basic lock might be like you just poke one thing. An elaborate lock, you might have to poke like 20 things. Kind of the idea behind that. So complicated. I see. It, intricate, you mean? Yes, intricate. It, I, I can't say that word. Anyway, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> Hi. Um, we pronounce it intricate. <laughs> ah! <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> kota. Kota. Uh, kota. Hi, kota. <laughs> okay, so let's go read this line. Oh, let's go read this line from the book. Well, technically, a kanji is a logograph. So we can so, so. pronounce it however we like. Kono uh, decorated kanari. <laughs> right? Kanari? Uh, uh, this is a jaw right here. So you can say, ah, kono integrated toy <laughs> uh, lock, oh. right? Jaw, jaw. Kono kanari boy. Cho wa. Kazari. Kazari. Kono kazari boy. Cho wa. Kota. Um. Kota wa. Kota joda. So the decorated boy meaning full of. Right? Kind of. Boy, I'm full. In this case, it's more like it seems. Ipai. You're thinking about Ipai. It seems like. Pai is normally like it seems like. So it's, it's, it's this this lock that seems very decorated. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, this makes more the sense. lock that seems decorated. Action. Yeah. So this lock looks very decorated. It's, it's very fancy. Um, fancy. So, so fancy the fancy looking, looking lock, lock. Yeah. Is a complicated lock. Perfect. All right, a uh, complex lock. Yes, exactly. Can you read this for me? Kyoshi. Yeah, kyoshi. So this second kanji right here is teeth. And that's because this talks about serrated edges. So basically, like if I drew a leaf Sorry. and it had teeth, that's kyoshi. <laughs> or if you're talking about chainsaws, Hi. kyoshi. Or you're talking about um, gears, maybe kyoshi. So it's some kind of serrated edge. Kyoshi. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Kono kota jo wa kyoshi o skau suka skata. Hi. Perfect. So this. Uh, complex, this intricate lock. Um, kyo shio skata uses gears, Hi, uses uh, razor teeth. Yep, perfect. But it, I think it's gear in this case. In that case, it still is it's serrated. <laughs> gears um, pops up later. Most some locks don't have that many gears. It's, it's talking about some kind of serrated item. Uh, You'll see gear soon. Um, so let's go read this word. I mean the sentence. Hi. Mitame wa nakanaka ripana o yashiki yaki yashiki da. Hi. What do you write? Mitame me. Mitame. Mita is the saw. Me is the eye. So the eye that's seen. Basically, beta men together that. though kind of has its own meaning to mean the appearance. So this right here says the appearance is ah, a quite appearance. nice mansion. Beta um, ah, okay. So this sentence right here, these these two things right here are basically nonsense words. Just you know, you don't need to think too hard. Just got to read them. So yeah, let's go read it. 
分かった。見た目は、ただの、うん、飾り、飾りっぽい、ちょうだ、ちょうだが、Uh, フラン、フランジ、スタードイ、ボルト。あ、uh,、キヨシオ、スカタ、コタ、ジョダ。はい。So this is basically like types of lock or something like that, like vocab words that you're not really supposed to know. It's just there to add flavor to the word, <laughs> right? I think in the English version, it's like double、Hi. twist out or something like that. Some random word. Anyway, so this ga is very important for understanding this. Mita me wa tada no kazari poi jo da ga. What do you think this is saying? All right, so it's a the appearance.、Mm-hmm. Well, that's、uh, the kind of like a what? ordinary. Jo da ga. Hi. ただの飾りっぽいちょうだ。So the parent is that of an ordinary lock. Yeah, but what kind of ordinary?、An、ordinarily、lock? decorated. Yeah, some kind of like, basically just a fancy looking lock. It's kind of what it's saying here with the kazari poi. It's a lock that just kind of looks like it's fancy, but not like a good lock. Just looks like, oh, they like engrave little butterflies on it or something. That, that's what it looks like. However, in reality, it's, it's a what kind of lock?、Um, hi. However, ga yo shi o skata kota jo da. It's a lock that is, it's a complex lock、mm-hmm. that uses gears or teeth.、Uh, uses teeth, yes. Uses a, some kind of serrated. Edge items such as these t y p e of things. um So, yeah, perfect. So, it's probably not gears because gears is haguruma, which does show up relatively soon. um Do you happen to know this guy?、Um, breathe. Hi. The air. As, as iki. I. Iki. Hi, hi. Can you read this、I. for me? Right. This is to suppress something or to calm it down, and it is a reverb. Can you read this for me? The thief、uh, that suppresses his breath. Perfect. To calm his breath. Yep. Can you read this for me? Haru Hamaru? Uh, hamaru. So, hamaru is an u verb, so like hamatta, and it means to plunge something into something. So, let's stick it in something. Hamaru. Can you read this for me? Hai. Iki o shim shizumeta otoko wa kagi hana ni hari gane o hamatta. Um, the, the man that's, that、uh, suppresses his breath, the man with a calm breath in a way.、Right. Uh, the suppressing his he, breath is a good way of thinking about it. It's like you can almost think of like holding your breath a little bit. His breath, holding his breath. The man that hold his, hold his breath, he, he hamata, he plunges, he plunge the, he Punch this, this harigane, this, this string wire into or at the kagihana into the hole. Perfect. And our next word, yoyaku, means like finally or in the end. Yoyaku. So let's go read the line. Yoyaku.、Um, Ikiyo shizume. Uh, subayaku te o uko uga、uh, ugokasu chi ni um ugokasu uchi ni yo yaku hari gane ga bitato wa mate doa nobu ga 
Mawata. Hey. Um, Sizume. So while holding breath or holding breath and um, Subayaku te o ugokasu to Uchini. Uh, Uchini meaning while he's doing the yep. first thing, he doing the second thing. So while he was holding his breath, he was also sw um, swiftly moving his hands. Yep. And he, Yoyaku, Yoyaku was, uh, may I be reminded again? Yoyaku, uh, Yoyaku is finally, the spaghetti. Is... Pretty good. Finally. So finally, he hamate meaning he uh he plunges jipitato meaning like finally plunges or yeah it's, in a it, swift the, motion the pitari means like to be exact so if you know about um locks uh the he's basically saying he sticks it in there but he does it, it finally in the correct way like so pitari is like accurate kind of pitari. so he <laughs> Accurately, accurately finally he accurately plunges the wire in there basically contextually but wire is literally in there so that causes the the lock right to so open he because he accurately plunged it in there he he finally plunges in an accurate way yeah. both meaning the manner to which he he plunges yeah uh the doorknob mawate and we say that mawate was to turn, right? Yeah. Mawaru. That's why it's doorknob. Doorknob. The doorknob turn. Well, what's the subject of the sentence? Do you know? The subject here is the is the man. The the wh whoever mm -hmm. is doing the action is the one that moving his hands. So yeah. it must but be in the previous sentence so yeah so it is literally saying the doorknob turns but contextually no he's saying that um basically i unlock the lock so the door turns now um so in a way you could say he says i turned the knob but for whatever reason they want to say the doorknob turned because literally it's i hey, you're I'm right restricting my breath i'm moving my hand swiftly bang i accurately plunged in my thingy in the keyhole and uh, that's why it's finally I finally accurately did that and now the doorknob turns because before the doorknob didn't turn you, he couldn't turn it hey uh, on on this particular grammatical point um is it fair to say that everything up to the hamate is a different subject yeah after the hamate the subject changed it did kind of to door knob yeah it's so kind of confusing. Door that did the like action that. of turning. Yes. But everything before that was some other person holding yep. their breath, moving their hands quickly, because mm -hmm. obviously the door is not moving its hand. So it is full. not plunging the 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 harigane. Yep. Yep. Perfect. We do the same thing in English. So there's two subjects here. So many subjects. Um, do you know how to read this guy? Hi. Um, you yaburi. Perfect, yaburi. How about this one? Kazari. Perfect. What did kyoshi mean? Do you know? Kyoshi was razor teeth. Nice. A serrated edge. Uh, can you read the line for me? Serrated. Doa o sotte akete no. Zokikomu. Yoshi. Yosh. Daremo nai. Daremo inai. No one there. Uh, he's saying yes or great. No one hey, there. No one's uh, here. The door. Zote. Zoto. Zoto is uh, describing the action of yep. akete. Zoto is so, softly. Akete is to open. Yep softly so the door the it's not that the door opened somebody opened the door softly yep. the subject what else is unknown here well probably uh, i because the book uh, is written in first person hi so 
it wasn't Khan that doing the door picking, yes. is he? Or it no, is it is Khan that doing the door picking. Okay, so he Nozoiki Kikomu is he 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 um he peek in as after he opened the door, he peek inside. Yep. And he say yes. There's nobody Yosh. here. Yep, perfect. Um, do you know what Tukiri means? Hey all Tukiri. Um Heya Heya o Tsukiri. Um to follow, right? Good guess. That's sweet that Oh to cross the room. Yes, to cross the room. Tukiri. Perfect. How about this guy? You wanna read this one? Um Shodana. Perfect. Shodana. Bookshelf. Perfect. And let's go read this. Heya o tsukirite shodana ni mukata. So I crosses the room towards the direction. I headed towards the direction of the bookcase. Okay. Yeah. Literally, it's I faced the bookcase. I crossed the room and I faced the bookcase. So mukao uh, and so he find all confused. Basically, the same word though. I see. So he found another bookcase in another room. Kind of. It's been previously, a little bit since previously. previous time. So previously he was over here and he was listening to some noises on the other side of the door, remember? So on the other side of the door, there's this guy, he was really mad, and then he went over to the bookshelf, pushed the little top panel up there, then the bookshelf moved, and then there was like these steps going down, and then the evil magician or whatever went down. Khan, after seeing that, was like, ooh, I gotta go figure out what's going on. So he picks this lock enters this room and crosses over to where the bookshelf was. I see. He was so he's gonna try to do the same thing that the other person did. So so um Bukkari makes sense. It's a sound effect. That means wide open. Bukkari. Um can you read this for me? Kari. Hi um Kaidan no Iriguchi wa Kabe ni Bukari, the sound effect. Ai. To, aita, kuroi hana o, kuroi hana no yo da. So the entrance of the stair, stair um, it it opened. It's aita. Did but it's it open or this, was it uh, was open? Bukari sound. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was open. It's aita. Hi, hi. It's, it's it's aru hi. in so the bukari past tense. Is a sound effect for something being wide open. Hi. So the oh, entrance <laughs> uh, to the stair was already wide open. Right. Yep. Exactly. Um, at the at the wall. So at the wall, there was already an an, an opening. Hi. An and one of the entrance and is like. a kuroi. It is um the entrance is kuroi hana no yoda. It is as if it is a black hole. Yes. So the entrance to the stairs oh, it was has like appearance. a black hole that opened widely into the wall. Um you just read I... that. Oh, I'm gonna go back. So remember this word, how do you read it? It's kaidan. Hi. How do you think you read this word? It's ichidan. Hi. So this dan right here is a counter that counts steps. Hi. So this is both. Money, by the way. Yeah. Um, sorry to <laughs> interrupt. <laughs> um, ru verb is ichidan, by the way. So that sounds right. Ru Pro. verb is ichidan verb. So that makes. U verb is godan. Goldan. Like, why is the random numbers? Goldan meaning that the the a e u e o is the five sounds, and oh. the five sound, uh, the five sound shift across. So from a to e, a uh, from a uh, from a uh, to um, I'm sorry, the u right? The u, mm -hmm. all the u rows are u tsu, u tsu ku chu bu. 
move or something like that, there are five. And the entire rows of entire columns of five shift across to the A column or to the E column, depending on how the the verb will modify itself. I feel like so that's there a really are five. That's why they call it go down. Kind of get it. I almost would do sandan then because I U A O is the third sound. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, know. but I'm guessing in Japan when you open up in the in the in the dictionary when they categorize their verbs, they categorize it under oh, ichidan or godan. They do. They do that. Um, I prefer genki as an American officially speaker being like, oh yeah, yes, they do. They they do the um. Ichidan, that, that is the category in Japanese. That's why if you um, look at it up in a dictionary, I... it's not going to say uver or um, do verb. It's going to say um, ichidan or godan. I... If I say um, taberu, it's going to say that ichidan I... here. See, ichidan verb, transitive verb. But it doesn't say um, do verb, which is what it says in Genki, because this is what it's actually called in Japanese. It's an ichidan verb. But I'm not gonna remember I, this. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt you. But uh that 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 vocabulary just remind me of and I just burst out with the oh, random nice fact. Sense. Definitely. But yes, this is this is Ichidan. Yep, Ichidan. Which can refer to either footsteps or steps on a staircase. Both work. One step is Ichidan. Hi. Um, do you know what this is? It's a uh, Mio. Uh, sumashi yeah. nagara. It's actually Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Um, Mimi o sumashi nagara. So while I am a uh, sumashi, I'm guessing like while I'm listening in on the conversation. So exactly. Right? So sumase is kind of the strain your ears. So over here it says he's straining his ears to listen to the two people's conversation. But if you remember in this specific context, the voices were too small. So even though they were talking, he really couldn't hear them at all. So samasa is to strain. To strain your ears. So to try to listen hard. Um, how do you read this word? Have you seen this? Yeah. Uh, it's nidan. Okay. Have you seen the sumasu come up elsewhere in other books or in other sentences? Um... Is it like straining of the muscle? I'm straining myself or I'm making an effort to walk or I'm making an effort to lift weight or something like that? I think so. Like to, to, to. You haven't seen it other than in this context, right? Yeah, so I mostly she... see it here. But I don't read I... a lot of like muscly words. I uh, feel like you can use it with eyes as well to mean to squint your eyes, but. I'm not sure. Can you read this for me? Hi, it's um, teka wa sagata. So it's um, the minion retreated. Hey, minion retreated. Um, so sumasu on its own, it looks like the kanji for sumasu is the one for to finish something rather than actually to strain. So it's interesting that it's um to finish your ears <laughs> is what it literally says. Uh, in English, we say we strain our ears. Uh, but yeah, it's sumasu to make clear or to finish. So it's the same to kanji. To make clear or to finish. Yeah. So I would say like I... sumimasen is from that same sumasu. <laughs> Same as sumu kanji. Ah, so sumimasen uh, is like, I I finished something. So I'm sorry because I've done it. I'm sorry because I can't finish it. Is apparently what it means. It can't be finished. I can't finish is masen. Especially masen since um manai. sumu as a finish is a finish with the worst situation not happening. So it's like, um, if for example you fell down the stairs. And you just got a little cut. You didn't break your leg. You might say, "Oh, thank goodness! That's you only it ended with you just hurting your leg like that." That's like a way you can use sumit. So it ended with a uh, low badness, right? Insinuating I... it could have ended worse. Is what it can also be used. 
So Sumi must send is like, I... oh, it ended horribly, maybe. Might be what a little bit of sinuous. But yeah, so Mimio Sumase <laughs> is to um to make something clear, apparently, but it does have that same concept as to finish. But better to think about it as just I... to strain your ears, because that's what we say in English. Um so yeah, the minion to clear the ear. It, it would not it doesn't generalize to other cases. Like yes. you can't clear your eye, you can't clear your muscle. You <laughs> you can strain your eye, you can strain your muscle. I yeah, yeah. I get it. Um, do you know what so this case is now? Retreat it. Yes, it's like I do. Uh, this is oriru. Hi, oriru. Perfect. And how do you read this word? Uh, sandan. Perfect. And can you read this? Yo. Yo, yo, jim, yo, jim, yo, jimbo, wa, kaidan, o, orida, orita. Hi, what does this mean? It means that the bodyguard, uh, he go down, he go down the stairs. Hi. Yep, and I think the word for strain is korasu. Just randomly. I think I think Hi. that's the right word for strain for other straining. That's that's what's used for eyes anyway. And on its own, it is to concentrate, to devote. So makes sense. Concentrate. Korasu. Korasu. Um. So let's go read this guy. Hi. Uh. Ni san dan. Orite mimi o sumashita ga nani mo. Kiko and nai. Hi. So two, three, stare down. I, I, uh, I, I strain my ear. Or I clear the ear, and but there's no nothing. I hear nothing. Perfect. Yeah. There's nothing so to be heard. Basically, I go it's down like, three steps. Kiko and I. Hi. So here I'd say went down three steps down the stairs. So it's black. Went down three steps. Tried listening. Can't hear nothing. Um, do you know how to read this? Uh, kaze ga, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yami no oku. Eh. So inside the darkness. In in the depth of the darkness. Perfect. Um, can you read this? Um. Sorry, it's always lag a lot of few I seconds. Know. Um Ichidan, Ichidan. So it's uh Kurayami no Okueto Ichidan Ichidan Padote Ita. I I will guess it. So towards the Towards the inner, the depth of the kurayami, the, the shadow, the black shadow. Uh, to afterward, one step, one step. Tadote ita. Ita was like it was. This is not talking ita, but like iru ita. Yep. Right. So it's the doite... leaving location ita. Leave a location ita. Okay, so iku ita. Hi. So iku ita. So uh doite. I think doite is kind of like to walk or something. Kind of, yeah. It shows up in tadori tuke, which is to arrive somewhere. So basically, he's just kind of doing step by step. He's going where? Step by step, he go towards the inner. The the inside yes. the depth of the shadow. Yeah. So literally, this would be the to tadoite... um, pursue to pursue toward the shadows, continuing forward basically, step by step. Step by step, continue forward. Tadoite. Right. Um. Tadoru. That's what it is. Yep. Tadoru. Um, can you read this for me? Um, let's see here. Nani ya ga, nani ya ra, putsu putsu to, tsubu, tsubuyaki nagara, kiona, sana 
町を登っていく。急な、坂道。坂。坂道。坂。坂道を登っていく。はい。鉄を何やら、ぶつぶつと。I'm guessing Butsu Butsu is the sound of his footstep. To Good go guess. Bu -bu Remember, it's a little triangle here. This is that's nothing to do with the previous sentence. <laughs> so, this is while、ah, doing Tsubuyaku. So, while he's Tsubuyaki. Tsubuyaku. Tsubuyaki no gara. Nobote. To mutter. Nobote, nobote is to go. Yeah, boots, the first stop right here is while stuttering butsu butsu. So he's muttering in a butsu butsu kind of way. Something. So that's yada. So while going, what do they do? Um, Nobote no is to go up the hill. Perfect. Up the hill road. Yep. You know what semi means? Quickly. Semi thin, something thin, yeah, or skin, some kind of narrow, maybe、space. not semi. Uh, thin is、narrow、normally whole soy, but it's it's related, right? Basically, same in English. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure we just wanted this word. You know what that is? Kata, kata bo? Close, whole, no, kata no, no. Whole, one which is one side. Kata kata whole. Whole. Nice. And what's in the bowl? It is usoide. Quickly. Isoide. Isoide. Hi. So, semi was that word that meant narrow. What is it? What's the te form? Te form of an adjective. Hi, hi. So, semi, semaku. Semakute. Hi, semakute. Perfect. And can you read this word in the bowl? Kata. Katate. Perfect. What does katate mean? Using one hand. Perfect. One hand.、Um, so I have these two kanjis. Can you tell me which one's which? The first one is sagate, the second one is orite. Perfect. To orite is to go down. To sagate is to retreat. Perfect. Okay, now you're reading the actual text from the book. Hi.、Um, kabi? No, it's kabe. Kabe, hi. Kabe ni katate o suite. Semakte. Um, q, q, q. Kiona, Kiona, Kio, Kiona, Kaidan, O, Oriteiku. Hi. Um, Suite, Suite is to use. It can be, you think about Scout, right? Suite comes from Tuku, which is to attach. So I attach Katate attach. to the Kabe. I place one hand on the wall. Perfect. And then I what? And I oriteiku, I go down the kaidan. That is,、uh, I quickly go down the kaidan.、Um, but the kaidan is narrow. So I quickly go down the narrow kaidan. Good guess. So you think about isoide?、Stairway. This actually isn't isoide right here.